Hey guys, I'm Jim K and 4YCD and you're watching FEB Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. Let's take a look at some Raspberry Pis. As you may know, the Raspberry Pi 4, or actually most Raspberry Pis, are unobtainium. Certainly a Raspberry Pi 4. And what I have for you today is a way that you can get a Raspberry Pi 4 without paying the crazy prices, shipping it from overseas, or actually being able to find it. So let's take a look at this. This is a Raspberry Pi 4. This is in an Argon case, which is a fancy case for a Pi 4. This is to join the USB ports, which actually kind of holds the lid on. And the Argon case is extra fancy. It lets you put in an NVMe connection, which I have a drive in here. This Pi actually boots off of an NVMe drive, not an SD card. <coughs> Um, and as you can see, I don't have an SD card in it, but this is a Raspberry Pi 4 B And I'm not going to pop it out of the case. It's a Raspberry Pi 4. It's got the same connectors that a Pi 4 has this case lets you move the side connectors over to here and Changes them around and gives you full HDMI. Of course, it's still USB-C powered there's an audio jack and then USB 2 and USB 3 ports and hard Ethernet, as well as a power switch. Those are all functions of the case. That's a Raspberry Pi 4. These are hard to find. Um, I follow rpilocator.com and I see them pop up and I see them disappear. They're hideously overpriced. If you can find one, and I've seen a few listed on Amazon, they sell them as a kit. The kit adds in a power brick and an SD card and other ancillary stuff that you may or may not need. Um, and then they sell it as a kit. And you're looking at, the last time I saw one, they were about $175 to $200 for a Pi 4, 4 gig usually, maybe 8 gig, and then a bunch of random garbage that, like I said, you may or may not need. So, that's a Pi 4. I don't want this to be a super long video, but this is a Raspberry Pi 400. It comes in this nice keyboard case. It is only in that color, so I hope you like raspberry flavored, colored. It's pinkish. Ethernet, one USB 2, two USB 3s, two micro HDMIs, USB-C, SD card. I think that's for a Kensington lock if you still use those things. Um, and other than that, that's it. And you can turn this on and off with a keystroke. I think it's like um, Alt or Function. Yeah, Function F10 will allow you to power it on and off from the keyboard. But inside, it's a Raspberry Pi 4B. It is exactly the same thing. So I'm going to pause the camera, pop the cover off this, and we'll take a quick peek inside. So I was able to get it popped apart. We have two major pieces, a keyboard, which is also behind this shield. And that's attached with this ribbon cable here. And then we have the main board, which is here. And I unscrewed these screws, but this still didn't want to come loose. There's something else holding it. And in the interest of not trashing my computer, I'm gonna, we're gonna roll with it. Um, the form factor is not the same inside. It is the same processor. It is the same guts, um, with the, you know the exceptions of the number of ports that I mentioned. Uh, this is actually clocked a little higher than a standard Raspberry Pi 4B. Um, a 4B is 1.5 gigahertz, and this is clocked at 1.8. Um, this is a little more overclockable than a standard Pi 4B. However, it's the same processor. This has better heat dissipation because of the way this is designed with these shields. These are these are probably a lot of it is heat dissipation, but that is the difference. This can be had for about seventy dollars as is, just the computer keyboard device itself, and about a hundred if you get the kit. If you get the kit, this comes with a USB-C power brick designed for this computer so it'll have adequate output power. A USB mouse, an HDMI cable to take um, from 
micro HDMI to standard size HDMI <clears throat> as well as an SD card. And there may be another thing or two in that little kit. That's a hundred. And these are available in a lot of places for the same price. I will put some links below of different places that are selling these, but I'm, I've seen them at um, Pie Hut, Pie Maroney, um, I believe Amazon has these. There's any number of electronics dealers that have Raspberry Pi 400s. So this is a pretty darn good deal. If you need a Raspberry Pi 4 for something, if you want to run, and that's what's on this, by the way, is uh, KM4 ACK's build a Pi setup. If you want to use this as your ham computer, this will absolutely work just as well as a Pi 4. And this is available today. The price on these, again, way better than the Pi 4s, if you can even find the Pi 4s and you can't. So that's all I have on this video. Guys, hope you got something out of that. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I publish any new content. 73, have a good day.